Hey there, Playmo friends. We got a Playmo Pal to open up for you today. Actually, that is wrong. <laughs> it's Playmo Pals. That's. We got a Playmo friend. Okay, let me gotta start this over. All right, sorry about the mix-up there at the beginning, guys. It's easy to get words confused when there are multiple words in your sentence that mean the same thing. Anyway, some of you avid viewers may recognize this figure from a previous unboxing video I did. That's right, this is a duplicate figure for me. The first one was presented in another unboxing video because I didn't think the video at that time was long enough and now I have an opportunity to give this Fawn his own video. It's too nice of a figure not to. The Fawn was released in August 2022 and is the first Playmobil humanoid figure to have hooved feet. If I'm not mistaken, the headpiece with his ears and horns are new to the lineup as well. Before I get too far into this, we are looking at Playmobil set number 70815, The Fawn. So here we have the packaging. Our fawn stands before a brilliant shimmer of light peering through the trees of the enchanted forest in which it lives, protecting the balance of nature and all its inhabitants from the dangers of man. Very nice way to present this figure. Uh, it's very cool looking and um, I'm, I'm so fortunate, I think, to have gotten one of these when they first came out. Uh, this is the second one that I got when it first came out. Um, and it was on sale, so I, I, you know, jumped at the chance to get another one. I, and I wasn't planning on opening it, but I, I have gotten into a medieval uh, Playmobil Knights kick, and uh, just thought this would be a really cool figure to have to add to the other one, and uh, add to also to the imagery of uh, my photos that I take with them. Um, so. Um, other than that, we do have a couple of choking hazard warnings here on the very top. We have one in English, one in French, it looks like. <laughs> um, there are 10 pieces included in this set. The backside presents the majority of the choking hazard warnings in various languages. All the other standard legal information and an almost actual size photo of our character at the upper right of the packaging. So there's not a whole lot we need to go over in regards to box details. So we're going to go ahead and crack this thing open and see what's inside. And that was quick. I like how I didn't tear up the box too bad. So it comes with a few accessories. The horns and his ears are a separate piece as you can see here. I am holding them backwards. There we go. We see the insides of the ears. They go inward. And uh, this this uh, little uh, tab here goes into a hole where it fastens onto the head like that. So it kind of completes the outfit like that. Uh, and then he has a quiver with two arrows on the back. I have his bow in, his, in my hand. Um, he, his, his facial stubble, let's see, let's see there. Facial stubble is not put on very well. Um, it's very, faded in some areas is just completely missing and uh, it does not quite look the way the other one or other ones rather look in fact let me get the other one out so we can compare the two so essentially we are looking at the same figure the one that we just opened is on the left side and the, the one I've had for a while now is on the right as you can see let's look at that facial hair the one on the right uh, he is is Perfect. The the facial hair is done just right. There are a couple spot splotches of uh, hair that's missing. I guess that wouldn't be a splotch then, would it? If it's missing, um, <laughs> but it uh, either way, it, it's got more facial hair than uh, than this guy on the on the left side here. But I like how the horn piece on the head is closer to the hair so it doesn't leave a, a gap you can sort of see one there but it's not as bad i mean this one you can see that right there you can see the the white from the wall coming through bleeding through there see that so that that's sort of annoying i mean i i, I can push it down until you know my fingers fall off and it's still not going to work but this one is much tighter and i like that the fawn is a creature from roman mythology 
consisting of a human-like upper torso and face, but has the legs and horns of a goat. Their eyes can look as normal as yours and mine, but sometimes they can resemble the eyes of goats. Fawns are cheerful creatures. They have the special ability of making others cheerful and happy. They are known for using wooden flutes to produce extraordinary melodies that can hypnotize others. Overall, a fine figure. Uh, very excited to have two of them now, but uh, you know, just getting one of these because I thought these were going to be extremely popular and very difficult to get. As far as I know, they are discontinued. Uh, so uh, to get one now is, is probably going to cost you a little bit if you go on eBay or any other third party site where somebody could be selling uh, another one. Um, you know, uh, it'll probably not be as cheap as it would be brand new. Now, brand new, this was about. Um, five five dollars maybe i've seen it on sale at entertainment earth and even on the playmobil website for as little as about like 2.99 3.99 something like that so very inexpensive uh once they started phasing them out and uh, i hate to see this one go just because it's it's just too cool looking and it's the only it's the first version of its kind to come out with these hooves for feet but that is it for the fawns. Guys, that's it for this video. Very short one. There's not a whole lot to go over today. Uh, but um, if you did like it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. You can also, again, follow me on Instagram. You can check us out at playmo.af. Until then, guys, we do have more on the way. Be sure to check it out. And uh, we will see you again very soon. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you. Bye-bye. Here's what the fawn would look like if he had a comb. <laughs>